What is up, guys? I've been getting so much awesome feedback from everybody, and I want you to know that we are going to be launching classes that you all can, you know, join and all that stuff. And we are going to be making our program that was available, you know, only for schools for the longest time available to students everywhere. So I will keep you posted, and I will do a video on that very soon. Today we're going to be working on questions that deal with angles and tangent and the circle and all that. So let's get into it. Here we have line segments AD and BD are tangent to the circle. All right, let's just stop there because this is something that used to confuse the heck out of me and it doesn't need to be confusing. So here's confusing. <laughs> it doesn't need to be confusing. So we have AD, okay, and we have BD. And both of these are tangent to the circle, right, with center C. So this is the circle. So here's the deal. Whenever you have a line that's tangent to the circle, there are two things that are happening, okay? The first thing is that this line is only touching the circle at one point, okay? And then the second thing is, so each of these, this is the one point where that line's touching. The second thing is that it creates a 90 degree angle with a line from the center, with the radius, okay? So this here, okay, this here to here has to be a 90 degree angle. And, you know, the drawing that they've given us, the figure here, is not perfect, but it doesn't have to be, okay? And same with this angle here, okay? It has to be 90 degrees, okay? So now, we know each of those are 90 degrees. So again, remember, a tangent line to a circle. What are the two rules? Number one, if it's tangent to the circle, it's touching at only one point. Number two, it creates a 90 degree angle with the radius. That's it. If you, if you draw a radius from that one point where it's touching, what do you create? A 90 degree angle, okay? So now, what is the value of x in the figure above? So we're looking for x. Now here's the deal. This is not as hard as it seems. All we have is a four-sided figure. Any four-sided figure, okay, has a total number of internal angles. They, the, the measure of the internal angles has to be 360 degrees. It doesn't matter if it were, you know, something that looked even weirder than this. It's always 360. And one rule for any figure, if you're trying to figure out the total number of degrees, it is n minus 2 times 180, where n is the number of sides, okay? So here, if we know that our total is 360 degrees, okay, if we know that our total is 360 degrees, all we have to do is say 360, okay, minus 60, all right, minus 90, minus 90, okay, and what do we get there? 360 minus 60 is 300, 300 minus 180 is what? 120, okay, and that's given to us in answer choice B, 120 degrees, that's all there is to it. All right, y'all, so remember the rule when you're dealing with a tangent line to a circle, what's happening? That tangent line only touches the circle at one point, and from that point, if you draw a radius to the center of the circle, you create a 90 degree angle with that tangent line, all right? And I just wanna say thank you so much for all the likes and the shares and all of the comments and everything. Please keep them coming. You get me very excited, make me wanna keep doing this. I love y'all, have a great day, and I'll talk with y'all soon. Peace.